Hello Nikon fans, there's some exciting news brewing. Recent leaks indicate that Nikon is developing a new DX format mirrorless camera, the Nikon Z80. This comes as a surprise, especially since many were anticipating the Nikon Z50 Mark II's debut later this year. Now, the buzz around the Nikon Z80 has everyone intrigued. So, what's the latest on the Nikon Z80? Let's dive into the details. The Nikon Z80 is rumored to feature hybrid in-body image stabilization, IBIS, a technology that's already making waves in models like the Nikon ZF and Zez 6 Mark III. Hybrid IBIS combines optical and digital stabilization methods, providing superior stability for both stills and video. This means smoother images and steadier video, even in challenging shooting conditions, a real advantage for many photographers. Adding to the excitement, is the rumored inclusion of the Xspeed 7 image processor. Known for its dual data stream technology, the Xspeed 7 boosts performance and speed. This translates to faster processing times, enhanced autofocus, and overall improved image quality. Its presence in the Nikon Z80 suggests that Nikon is aiming for high performance with this new model. Things get even more intriguing with hints about the Nikon Z80's video capabilities. Rumors suggest it could set a new benchmark among APS-C cameras, potentially offering features like 4K recording at higher frame rates and improved color depth. If true, the Z80 could become an excellent choice for hybrid shooters who need top-notch video alongside their photography. Before the Z80 rumors emerged, attention was focused on the Nikon Z50 Mark II. As a successor to the popular Z50, it was expected to offer only incremental upgrades. However, the shift towards the Nikon Z80 indicates that Nikon might be positioning it as a more advanced option in their DX format lineup. This could suggest a significant leap in performance, making the Z80 a standout in its category while positioning the Z50 as a more budget-friendly alternative. Despite the excitement, many questions remain unanswered. Will the Z80 feature a new sensor? What about connectivity options and battery life? How will its size and ergonomics compare to the Z50 and other DX format cameras? These are all important questions we're eager to see addressed. For now, the speculation around the Nikon Z80 is generating plenty of buzz. Whether you're a current Nikon user or considering making the switch, the potential of the Z80 promises exciting advancements in performance and capabilities. Overall, the Nikon Z80's combination of hybrid IBIS and the Xspeed 7 processor looks promising, especially if the rumored video features come to fruition. If Nikon can deliver on these expectations, the Z80 could be a game changer for those seeking high performance in a compact DX format camera. However, until we receive official confirmation and more details, everything remains speculative. The pivot from the anticipated Z50 Mark II to the potential Z80 could be a strategic move for Nikon to capture a larger share of the APS-C market with something truly innovative. In the meantime, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Are you excited about the rumored features of the Nikon Z80? How do you think it will compare to Nikon's current DX format offerings? Share your opinions in the comments below and stay tuned for more updates as we follow the developments in Nikon's lineup.